if you're a policy wonk, you'd be really interested in the fact that um, the push towards aligning or, or linking the English language proficiency standards to the common core uh, came about through administrative regulation rather than through legislation. That is, there was a requirement in the waiver uh, from ESCA flexibility that, uh, that state chiefs had to sign in, the, in their application that their state would adopt English language proficiency standards that correspond to the common core. And throwing that language of correspond in there really, uh, really kind of threw in a, an additional motivation for people to, to pick up and say, well, what, what, does, what is the relationship between our English language proficiency standards and the Common Core? And um, what the Council of Chief State School Officers did in their, in their wisdom in uh, developing uh, a document that they called the Eng English Language Proficiency Development Framework, or ELPD, framework and and I think it's a you know even though that document is written for uh, for state standards people to look at their state standards and in a sense certify that it corresponds to the common core it uh, it, it can be a quite useful document for teachers to look at some pieces of it especially the pieces that break down uh, the content area. So there's a there, there's separate analysis for English language arts, for math, and for science uh, that talk about the 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 sort of the, the classroom uses of language in those areas and how language might be used. Uh, and unpacking that could be a really you know, kind of interesting uh, exercise for language teachers or English language teach English as second language teachers to do. Uh, in kind of collaboration with the content teachers to talk about what would language look like uh, in those content uh, areas. And so the, um, I, I would say that the, currently the English language proficiency standards are in that state of evolution where they're looking not just at sort of internally to language, what's the grammar, what's the vocabulary, what are the semantic sort of structures of the, of the language and so forth, but rather to say what kinds of, of, uh, of, of discourse are required among students in the content areas to build knowledge. And so I think that's a pretty you know, kind of exciting uh, connection made between language and content that's enabled by the ways in which the Common Core uh, captures language.